Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Postman TV Show. In this episode, we are going to be discussing about radiator cough disease. And today, here with me is Ali Abdullah Hamid Amarura, a final year physiotherapy student at Integral University Lucknow, to give us more insight about radiator cough disease. Hello, Mr. Ali. Hello, Mr. Abdullah Hamid. We are very glad for having you with us here today, and our viewers would like to hear from you what is radiator cough disease. So thanks uh, Ms. Abdul Hamid for inviting me how to in this house to say something uh, regarding uh, the total cop diseases. So before we move further into our topic, uh, I may like to give a brief anatomy on what is retro cop. What is retro cop self? So the word retro cop is an anatomical term given to a group of muscles which act to stabilize the glenohumeral joint. That is the shoulder joint. So each and every one of those muscles uh, have its own form and functions. Those muscles are of three four muscles. We have supraspinatus, inspraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. But let's take uh, supraspinatus as an example. So the supraspinatus muscles is a muscle which is arises in the supraspinous posa of the scapula and also inserted into the greater tubercle of the humerus. So the main function of these muscles, it helps in 0 to 15 degree of abduction. That is 0 to 15 degree of abduction. Abduction, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 0 to 15 degree. Yeah, yeah. 0 to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever this muscle is get inflamed or it tear due to something or something is happened to it, so it lead or the patient will uh, will complain you on unable or inability to perform that specific movement. That is that abduction. Yeah, yeah. The second muscle is spraspinatus. The, yeah, the second muscle is inspraspinatus. The inspraspinatus also is a muscle which is present on the inspraspinatus posa of the scapula and also it's inserted into greater tubercle of the humerus. But the main function of this muscle is external rotation. External rotation. Yeah, external rotation. So whenever this muscle is inflamed or it tear or something is happened to it, so a person uh, or a patient will complain you on his honorable to perform that specific that movement. Extra. Yeah, that external rotation. And the third muscle is uh, teres minor. The teres minor uh, is a muscle which is also imperial border of the scapula. And also it incited into greater tubercle of humerus. This muscle shape is uh, held in the external rotation and a detection. External rotation and a detection. Yeah, a de abduction. Ad no, no, a detection. Yeah. Yes, abduction, right? Yeah, abduction. Yeah, and external rotation. External rotation. Yeah. So the fourth muscle is subscapular. No, yeah, subscapularis. Uh, the subscapularis muscles is a muscle which is present on the subscapular posa and also it is inserted into laser tubercle, into laser tubercle of humeral. So the main function of this muscle is internal rotation. Yeah, the internal rotation. So uh, anything happen to that muscles, it leads into inability to perform that specific movement. So what is what exactly is rotator cuff diseases? The rotator cuff disease is the most common source of shoulder pain. Shoulder pain. Yeah, it's the most common source of shoulder pain, which is mainly uh, found in the elderly population. Elderly population. Yeah, yeah. Elderly people. Yeah, yeah, elderly people. More than sixty yeah, yeah. years. Or yeah, eighty years. years. Yeah. So tearing of one or uh, tearing of single or multiple muscles is known as the total cop tear, meaning it can be a tearing of supraspinatus or inspraspinatus, teres minor or subscapularis. So, Mr. Ali, who are more likely to be affected with this uh, total cop disease? Patient younger than 40 years of age with history of trauma. 
Then the patient older than 60 years of age without history of trauma, meaning between 40 to 60 years of age with or without history of trauma. So those people are more likely to affect on these diseases. So, uh, what are the clinical presentations of uh, diseases? Well, uh, the clinical presentation of uh, these diseases is uh, number one, a patient will complain you a nighttime pain. Nighttime pain. Yeah, yeah, at night. And also the patient will unable to sleep on the affected side. Yeah, on the affected side. And also the patient will complain you that uh, inability, inability to reach uh, behind the back. Okay, he cannot take his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cannot take his back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or any overhead activities. Yeah. So, Mr. Ali, what are the uh, physiotherapy management of uh, uh, radiotopic diseases? Yeah, the physiotherapy, the physiotherapy management of these diseases uh, is number one. Uh, you have to apply a cool ice or hot pack on the affected side in order to reduce the swelling. Yeah, number one. Ice yeah in order meaning the eyes is used when the diseases is acute but when it one turns to three days. one to three days okay, yeah yeah to one to three days. yeah yeah that is when it is acute but when it turns into a chronic uh, you have to apply the a fort, hot the day to the yeah 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 days. yeah you have to hot your hot packs yeah yeah the second thing you can do uh, is to exercise the part uh, in order to restore the strength and range of motion of that joint. Okay, so there are some exercises given to the yeah, yeah. patient that is suffering from Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Like, can you give us any example of the type of uh, like exercise? Yeah, you can mobilize, mobilization. mobilization. Yeah, you can mobilize the shoulder joint because it helps in uh, to break down the adhesive. Uh, yeah, and also to restore the joint range of motion because it decreases the range of motion. Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ali, for sharing this vital knowledge with us here today. And I think with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And for more videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.